So the Las Vegas Raiders traded for Waquan McMillan, uh, and I actually really like this move. I think that uh, he's someone who uh, is a very interesting player, and let's just jump into it. Uh, we'll start things off with this play. Uh, he's 52, so he's right there in the middle of the field. Uh, it's going to be a running play to the right side of the screen. Uh, and there's a reason I'm starting off with a running play, because by far and away, McMillan's best attribute is how he can help in the running game. He's a very good run-stuffing linebacker. And if you notice with this blocking concept, I mean, there is a fullback in the game. He's running out to block 20 on the right. Uh, you also have a receiver who's going to run and uh, block the other defensive back in that area. So basically, the closest player uh, to where this running play is going to go to is going to be McMillan. So it's going to be run to the right. He's going to have to try and get over there as quick as possible. But basically, it's going to come down to how well can he read this play? How well can he get over there? And the clear answer is going to be very well. Watch how quickly he reads it and watch how quickly he gets over there. And he just makes a perfect tackle. Um, technically, you know, uh, Eckler never went down, but, you know, uh, stopped him in his tracks. And there was no way they were gaining any yards right when he got in position. That's just kind of what he can do. And it's not just that. There's also things like this, where uh, this play, there's going to be two double teams in the middle of the field. Um, and McMillan, I've circled him. Uh, again, 52. Uh, easy to see there. And uh, basically what's going to happen is that it's a very simple blocking concept. You're going to have a couple double teams. You run right up the middle, try to gain some yards. It's very basic. And what you're going to notice is that uh, when the ball is snapped, there is a little bit of a gap right there. And McMillan, he's sort of moved in that direction. There's not... Uh, you know, no space for this halfback to run through. They have an opportunity, but he's also in position where he could potentially run over and try to make a play. He is going to make a play. He does a very good job of stopping the run. That's not anything too special. I mean, that's kind of just doing your job. I thought that the middle, the interior defensive line did a pretty good job on that play. But, you know, I mean, still good. I would say it's definitely still good by McMillan. Uh, but at the same time, that's not all there is. I have a reason for bringing that up, and it's because of what happened later on in that game. This time, uh, it's going to be a very similar idea where, you know, once again, there is going to be, uh, you know, it, it's there is a slight difference. The slight difference is going to be that there's three players in the box, two linebackers and one defensive back. So now McMillan can kind of be right in the middle, whereas on the last play, uh, there was just two linebackers. There was no uh, defensive back in the box. But besides that, it is relatively similar. However, what you're going to notice this time is how quickly McMillan gets in and clogs up that gap. And he, you know, there's no way you're going to run through that gap at that point. So that's just, a, you know, a good awareness there of sort of learning how the game is going, you know, uh, making adjustments as the game is going on, you know, learning what they do and using it against them. I think that that's something that he can do very well. Uh, I think that he's a really good run stopper. I mean, there's no doubt about it. So if he's such a good run stopper, why did he get traded for basically nothing? I mean, the trade ended up being that uh, the Dolphins lose uh, a fifth rounder and McMillan and the Raiders are giving back a fourth rounder. So you're basically moving up one round, uh, which is already later. Uh, for uh, you know a, a player who can definitely do some things very well. And the reason for it is because uh, as a linebacker, you can't just stop the run. You do have to also play coverage, and he does not play coverage particularly well. Uh, and that's honestly an understatement. He's bad in coverage. He just is. Good run stopper, not good in coverage. Like, take a look at this play, okay? A bit to unpack here. Uh, and first, let's look at the white circle in the middle of the field. That's where McMillan is. So this is going to be a cover three zone. The zone that he is in charge of covering is the zone he is currently standing in. And so, uh, just logically, you would think just uh, looking at this that there's going to be a problem on the bottom of the screen. You notice that... Uh, really, this is a perfect kind of concept to beat cover three zone. This is a good job by Philadelphia of running this play in this particular spot because they have two receivers sort of run routes that kind of go away from each other. Another receiver is running a curl route right in that uh, area of coverage where there's only th uh, two Miami players. So you spread them apart. It widens that gap in coverage. Wentz can make that throw. That's what you would think. And because of what they're doing on the top of the screen where, you know, they're going to take away the other two zones over there, this seems like a very good play. Now, obviously, McMillan doesn't know all of this. He only knows what he can see, and he's probably only going to be able to see what's going on on the bottom half of the screen. So if he sees that, okay, you know, there's two zones in coverage, so two players, and there's three eagles, one of them runs over the middle— He's going to assume that, okay, I should just not cover that guy as he could run into a different zone. And, you know, my teammate 
uh, to my left, which is to the top of the screen, will pick him up. So I should cover the curl route, the one in the middle, which is also why you see that the, rece the receiver that runs a route that does go up, uh, it sort of has a stopping point, uh, which is it's very key because if uh, McMillan does end up running down, he will be wide open. So how do you defend against this? Well, for McMillan, it's all about your read. You have to realize if that player is going to continue running deep or if he is going to sit down. Uh, because if he does sit down, you're in trouble. And there is a way you can get away, you can get away with this. There's always something you can do no matter what the coverage is. Uh, you know, there's always something you can do. And th this is no exception. Where one thing that's really impor important to mention, while McMillan is in charge of covering the zone that he's currently in, uh, the, the zone that's a little bit further down, uh, that player is actually going to be covering the zone deep. This is cover three. The player who's then going to be covering the zone that he is in is further deep. So there's a bit of a little twist right here. So some, some surprise. But uh, the reason why this is so important is because you are going to kind of have three Dolphins in that area. Not for a while. But basically what McMillan should do is he should just trust his teammate on this play and trust that his teammate will realize what's going on and cover one of the three routes. Meaning that he should make sure he just stays in his zone and doesn't try to panic here. However, panic he does, uh, he goes to the bottom of the screen, which allows for a player to get wide open, and they get the first down and pick up a solid gain. And that's just a mistake that you don't want to have happen. Uh, but it's a mistake that he makes a fair amount. He just, those quick decisions, he often will make the wrong one. Uh, he'll make the wrong reads in the passing game. While he's very good at making reads in the running game, not very good at making reads in the passing game, and you just saw right there. Like, this is another one. This is in man coverage this time, but it's going to be sort of a pick play. So, uh, you know, for McMillan, the main thing he has to do is try to get around a pick, uh, or you could try and switch, but you wouldn't really do that given this uh, select matchup. So he's going to try and fight through the pick is what you're going to try and do here. Uh, and so, uh, you know, it's not an easy play to do. But again, watch how long it takes him just to realize what's going on. It takes him so long that he doesn't even realize that he has to fight through the pick until it's way over uh, and it's an easy completion for a big gain. And that's just a play that you don't want to see have happen. And it really is true that he's just not good in coverage, which is fine. You know, the Raiders know what they're getting. They're getting him for basically free. You might as well just take it. Uh, it seems like really Miami just says, uh, we don't really want this guy. Uh, so, it, you know, not maybe they don't want him, but they're just like, hey, we're not going to really use him after this year anyways. We're probably not going to make the playoffs this year. So you know what? Uh, we'll get some value back, even if it's very little. And I also think that with the Raiders' acquisitions at the linebacker position, they have enough coverage guys that they're probably just going to use him in select spots, you know, when you need a third uh, linebacker uh, to, you know, uh, just to try and stop the run on obvious running plays. You'll probably see him out there some. So, uh, you know, I think it's a good move. I think that it'll probably help him. The Raiders are trying to make the playoffs and maybe even then some this year. So, uh, you know, adding some talent, adding a good role player who he is just a role player, but he plays his role pretty well. I think there's value there. But yeah, that's just what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.